Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of the Voltblitz universe. You're watching Voltblitz Addict again. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about the VK45.02 P House A. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a heavy tier 8 uh, German tank, which is underrated by many players. And it's truly good, but it's kind of special. And we're going to talk about it uh, in a second. Now let's look at the consumables, provisions and so on. So multi-purpose restoration pack, repair kit and adrenaline. For uh, provisions, I'm using chocolate, improved fuel and protective kit. Uh, if you're using um, the bar, the chocolate bar, as you can see, it brings uh, only a tiny amount of, uh, of the performance of a tank, while protective kit gives you a bit more and it's uh, wise to use it instead of it. Um, Let's look at the lamp, uh, ammo loadout, so 23 AP, uh, 11 APCR and 8 HE shells. Uh, as it comes for equipment, I'm using gun rammer. The penetration isn't spectacular, but it's enough. You will see why. So I'm using gun rammer. Uh, I'm using uh, enhanced gun lane drive. I'm using vertical stabilizer. Also uh, defense system. Um, and chest armor because the armor isn't spectacular you will see it in the second and toolbox or a chance tracks i would prefer toolbox in this tank but it depends on your playstyle really improved optics improved control and the last one as usual also uh, depends on your playstyle and the provisions that you're using uh, and also uh, look at the armor if we are facing the t34 the tank has only uh, 6 degrees of gun depression, which is uh, not phenomenal. Uh, God knows why it should have more, but uh, yeah, you, you have only 6. You can side scrape a bit in this tank, as you can see the front isn't spectacular for a heavy tank. The side armor and the turret armor are not bad. Uh, they're not great, but they can bounce, so you can side scrape a bit in this tank, but you have to be careful not to over, over angle it. The front isn't uh, really great. Um, the side armor isn't also spectacular. You can uh, bait those shots on the front plate at a steep angle. It creates out of bound zone. So it's uh, good to, to use it that way. If you, but still you, you need to be careful because you, you, as you can see, you, if you slightly over angled, it's uh, easily penable. Uh, but um, yeah, the rest of the armor isn't spectacular. It's good, but it's not spectacular. But if we switch to a medium tank, let's say Pershing, uh, so look at this. Now this tank becomes a real heavy. So if you are facing medium tanks, this tank can be really a bully and with a 105mm gun, it can also bring some punishment on those uh, medium tanks. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's how you should use this tank. Uh, just. Uh, remember how good the armor profile is against the medium tanks because uh, that's the main secret of this tank and i'm gonna tell you in a second why while we'll be watching the games so great medium armor profile uh and so um, i don't know why but i have a lot of good games apparently on uh vineyards the most hated map on uh, by most players uh, but I want to show you this game uh, particularly why. Um, because that's how you should use the tank. Use it as a medium tank. Look at the mobility. I'm going over 40 km per hour so I can keep up, keep up with my amigo uh, Martin, my subscriber, which I'm tuning with uh, against uh, the red team. And I can keep up with his super pershing. And at the same time, as you can see, we're pushing the medium flank. We're not pushing heavy flank. We already have six degrees of gun depression. So we're uh, not sitting um, near the cap. Uh, we are trying to uh, get to those mediums and punish them by uh, our strong armor profile against them. Uh, so you will see how effective it is against the medium tanks and even TDs at uh, good angles. Uh, we can see there are many uh, mediums here and light tanks and TDs also. But uh, like I said, six degrees of gun depression isn't great. So you have to be aware of that. And I'm just trying to spot them all for my team. And look at this. We can bounce on the turret if we 
are able to angle it correctly. Maybe he hit a gun, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, we're gonna simply sit here and just farm some damage because we have the armor profile to play against those guys and uh, we can punish them with quite high, high alpha. Um, and also my friend in Super Pershing has the armor profile of a good uh, heavium as basically as uh, we do because we both uh, kind of heaviums we have uh, the arm profile on front also he has the arm profile on front um, and we don't have uh, great mobility and we both don't have those big alpha guns but we have uh, at least uh, he has the dpm i have uh, more punch so we're gonna use it you can see the gun depression i'm really struggling to get some shots uh, and uh, basically this <laughs> Uh, this Moots will go just give me a headache here, uh, but we're gonna handle him real soon. Uh, so, well, as you can see, my amigo is pushing on the STA, we are pushing on this uh, Panzer 58, uh, because uh, we simply want to clear him. He's a good tank, it's a, it's a really good tank when played correctly, so we're gonna clear him out. And it's 4 on 4, we have two caps uh, in, this, uh, in this moment, so... Uh, Basically, all we have to do is uh, push on these uh, remaining reds. We're still uh, quite uh, healthy on hit points, so uh, we can deal with them. As you can see, my amigo dealt with one tank, and we have uh, two more to go. Mm, so, maybe maybe uh, while we're watching, it's nothing uh, really special about this game. We're just going to farm some more, and that's all. Uh, but... Um, What's the great thing about this tank? So, two great things. One is mobility. The second is nice armor profile against the medium tanks. Uh, so, that's the best way to uh, play this tank and use this tank. But if you need to uh, push on the heavy side, you can do it. But you have to read the enemy lineup and see who will be you facing with. With the next game, I'm going to show you how to use it as a heavy, but uh, there were circumstances that um, that uh, make me uh, make the decision that uh, I will push with the heavies. So, yeah, the mobility and the and the armor profile strong against the mediums and light tanks are the pros of this tank. Uh, the cons of this tank are basically lack of armor for a heavy tank and uh, pretty large armor pro uh, pretty much prof uh, tank profile pretty large tank profile uh, for a heavy tank but it's typical for german tanks they were uh, very high and uh, and yeah and, and they are pretty easy to take over from the sides and the back because they are massive simply and uh, as you can see, the, we are bottom tier in this game and I decided to push with the heavies because I've uh, seen at the beginning of the game that they had AMX 5120, which is a good tank when it comes to uh, being a bully with the outloader, but also um, it's not heavily armored. So um, I decided to push here. There's three on three as it comes for a heavy tank. So, uh, Maybe I'm not the bully on this side, but I can uh, just help my uh, my team to hold this flank, to hold the heavy flank, uh, just to make even even uh, matchmaking right now. Because three on three, that means that the rats were were not be able to uh, push that easily. So we're gonna just hold them on this side, and we're gonna look how the mediums are doing. So we're just uh, putting some pressure on them. They are trying to reset the cap while we can shoot some. But I can see on my right side, as you can see, there are mediums uh, that decided to push on this side. So I decided to help the mediums. I have shots. I have possibility to clear them. I have the good position uh, that doesn't require my uh, gun depression, which is great because the six degrees of gun depression is really, really uh, not spectacular. And um, when you used to... Uh, like at least eight degrees in the German heavies with such a tall vehicle, the six degrees are really, really um, not spectacular. And it uh, kind of bothers me from time to time when I play the tank. 
Uh, but I already uh, grinded it and I mastered it. Uh, so we're gonna see the mastery real soon on my channel. But uh, still I wanted to uh, tell you that it's a good tank. And you will see in the uh, last game, there will be one more game when you will see there are, um, there will be tanks that will simply ignore me, which is uh, great because they, they decide to take, uh, take me down a bit later because I don't have spectacular armor profile, so I'm easy to deal with. I don't have a great uh, alpha gun, so that means that even medium tanks can uh, deal with me. And uh, that's uh, mainly why those tanks will be ignoring me. And that's great, because if they are ignoring you, that means you can have three shots and just do your job, so uh, do quite a lot of damage, uh, do some killing, do some good stuff. Even as a bottom tier, you will see we can be effective. So we have the first task here, here four kills, top gun. Pretty nice for uh, such a <laughs> tank on the bottom tier. So basically treat this tank like heavy. And uh, like I told you, I, I have many good games on vineyards. And um, again, we're gonna push the medium side uh, because uh, there's uh, there's greater spot for us because we don't have the gun depression to be in the middle and we don't want to face those heavy tanks. So uh, the best thing to do is push this tank with the mediums. You can uh, keep up with the mediums. You have better armor profile than the mediums and you can be great support gun for the mediums and on the medium flank you will do simply great and you will see again in this game that i have no idea where, <laughs> why did i shoot it probably it was uh, by mistake but who knows maybe i wanted to test my shell on the rock um, <laughs> but yeah um, we're gonna simply see here because it's a good spot uh, for a tank like this there is not so uh, steep terrain um, around, so we can uh, create some shots. And look at this, this was a really great shot. Uh, it was shot of really of hope. And I, and I went, in, went in, I just said like, yeah. Iron <laughs> Jesus loves me today. And yeah, uh, as you can see, we have this E25 here. And uh, there's an IS-5. IS-5 doesn't have uh, gun depression, so it's great for us. He needs to push all the way up. We have this little bump in front of us, so that means we have uh, our uh, lower part of the tank hidden behind it, which is great because the turret, even though it's not really spectacularly armored, it's uh, possible to bounce shells, especially from those uh, bottom tier tanks. And uh, in this game we are top tier, so uh, the armor profile is uh, quite good for most of the tanks. Uh, and so we can just sit here and as you can see and farm some damage. I don't want to push because this IS-5, I checked his stats, he was a good player. have no idea why he was uh, simply ignoring me. Mm, and while he uh, was positioning himself over there, yeah, because, yeah, hello. Um, E25 just was sitting in one spot, which wasn't great for him. And that means we can farm some more. We received a nasty shot from that side. Uh, but uh, still we have shots available. I, I don't want to move from here. Why do I need to? I can see there's um, this IS is starting to push, so I decided to clear this AT. Uh, 15A because it's not such easy target to uh, to clear from the front and I had such sh side shots uh, so I was able to clear them out now I'll clear the EXP and I will uh, push uh, with my T49 and try to help him to, to deal with this uh, IS-5 um, I just love the shots I should have aimed uh, correctly but um, yeah I'm gonna simply try to push well, the Iron Jesus loved me with the TC-71. Now it hates me and I'm just hitting the tracks or hitting the dirt. But yeah, you can see about uh, what, I'm what I was talking about. This IS-5 is 
totally ignoring me. He's focusing on T49 because T49 has big nasty alpha and if he shows uh, him his uh, back, then he will simply uh, just die. And basically that's it. We cleared him. Did quite a lot of damage for a, uh, for a uh, first class because it was a first class with uh, almost 3,200 uh, damage. And that's basically all for this episode. Take care, bye-bye, join my Discord, subscribe, and catch you all on the battlefield.